Well, got good news for you. If you're a Trinitarian, there is still hope for you. Uh, you can still understand the very simple, what the Bible teaches about God. Not being three different people or persons. Uh, it's just one being that's composed of body, soul, spirit. And even though one of Anderson's little spin-off guys here, even he understands it. So there is hope for you. You can actually come to a knowledge of the truth. And the guy's a heretic in many, many other areas, but he's got this right. Listen to this. You know, because again, people say, oh, Denlinger came up with this view and whatever else. Well, there's a lot of people that believe what I believe. Now, here's how I explain it. I'll explain to I'll give you my explanation of the Trinity. The Trinity ties together with the deity of Christ, all right? So I'm kind of meshing these two together a little bit here. But uh, <clears throat> let me explain it to you here. First, let's see what Trinity means. 1 John 5, 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. All right, these three are one. Now... Put your finger there, hold your finger, and turn to Isaiah 4. I think you're probably already in Isaiah 43. If you're not, you can go ahead and turn to Isaiah 43. And while you're turning there, let me explain this three-in-one issue. It's not biblically correct to say, and I've heard this all my life, the Trinity is three separate entities, but one God, or three separate persons, but one God. That's not biblical. And that, confuse, that, that makes it even more confusing. All right, because they say, well, how can, three how can three separate persons be one? Never said three separate persons. It says three in one. All right. Now, if we're made in the image of God, does, does the Bible say we're made in the image of God? Made in the likeness of God? Okay. If we're three in one and we're made in his image, then he has to be similar to us. Or we could not be made in his image. So God is similar to us in this nature of being three in one. When you look at me, you're looking at a, a trinity. I'm not claiming to be God or anything like that. I'm just saying I'm created in the image of God. I'm created in a, I'm a triune being. Okay, because look, think about it. When you're looking at me, you see three. You see my flesh. You see, you see, you see, a, 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 you see one person. But this one person is made up of three. He's made up of a flesh, a body. He's made up of a soul. And he's made up of a spirit. But how many manlies is it? It's one. And these three can be separate of one another. Just like God's three in one. And they, God's three can be separate of one another. You know, when I die, you walk up to my casket, my coffin, you're going to see my shell. But my soul and my spirit are going to be separate from one another. They're going to be separate from my body. They're going to be in heaven, okay? You could look and say, there's manly down on the earth, but in heaven, they're also saying, here's manly in heaven. So there's three in one, same way God is, all right? God's three in one. Jesus was God's flesh. God the Father in heaven was the soul, and the Holy Spirit is that which is on earth, which dwells in our hearts. So there's three in one. We'll never understand it, but that's what the Bible teaches. And I think that's the clearest explanation for it. We're, we're made in a triune uh, state, just like, like God is in a triune, a triune, triune being, if you would, please. <laughs> so, right there. You know, I didn't found this, this teaching that comes from Scripture. It's just kind of a common sense thing. And, you know, you don't understand every aspect of it. And there's questions. You kind of go, oh, that's kind of interesting. But it's right there. It's not that hard to figure out, you know. And even a guy that's off in so many other areas, even he gets it. It's just common sense, you know. I don't know how you Trinitarians, I mean, but yeah, Trinitarians keep sticking to your, your thing of these three separate persons. There's no scripture for that. None at all, all right. But there's hope for you. If he can figure it out, you can too. Thank you for watching.